Hello, hello everybody. It's Colleen here with Shop Couture. Going to do a fun little project tonight called Live Life in Flip Flops. How adorable is that? So I'm actually going to be doing it on um, painted canvas and I will explain how I did that. Basically what I did, I took a, a white canvas and I got some um, some of our lovely um, aquamarine chalk paste and I put it on a paper plate and added water and stirred it up a bit and then took a paintbrush and just brushed on the um, chalk paste and water combination onto the canvas so that it made it a nice pretty blue or in this case um, aquamarine background. Hello Jessica! So that's how I prepped the, the canvas and um, hoping that this is going to work because I didn't treat it in any way. I didn't wax it or anything like that. I made sure that I fuzzed my transfer up really well. Um, hopefully it's not going to pick up any of that chalk paste um, that I used to paint the background. So here goes. We'll see what happens. But I thought I would do the Live Life in Flip Flops in Nantucket. I think that's a beautiful color and I think it's very kind of nautical kind of puts you in the mind of the shore color. So I'm hoping that that's going to pop on top of the canvas on the aquamarine blue that's painted on there. So we'll see. Let's give it a whirl. So I'm just stirring my chalk paste as we always do so it has a consistency of like yogurt, which this looks perfect. And we'll grab a squeegee. Let me get a bigger squeegee, just a little bit bigger so I can make this kind of go a little quicker. And what I'll do is I'll just put down some color with my little plastic star and then we can make quick work of this just spreading it with our squeegee. And if I put too much on, not to worry, I can always put the excess back into my jar. So we've got our small squeegee here and I'm just pulling down the chalk paste right over the silk screen area. I'm not applying too much pressure because it is a canvas and I'm a little concerned that it's going to pull up what I paint it on the back. We'll see what happens. We'll give it a whirl. Nothing like going live and testing something out. And then we'll know if maybe I should have waxed um, the paint that I, that I used on the canvas. But we'll see what happens. Again, I'm not going to pull too hard, just trying to get some of that ex excess off because I did put kind of a lot on there. Put that right back into our jar for a future project. And now I'm just making sure that I'm getting rid of any lines because we don't want them to come out when I pull the transfer off. So here goes nothing. Let's see what happens. I'm going to put my squeegee in my water bath over here. I'm going to just pull this back. Let's see what happens. It's not pulling it up, which is good. Oh, that looks so good on there. I love, love the Nantucket. It did pull a little bit in the eye, but I kind of like that. It's kind of pulling some of the aquamarine up through some of the letters. Hi, Eileen. Um, I'm okay with that. That, I think, went pretty well, considering that I did paint this earlier and let it dry. Um, for a couple hours just on its own and like I said I tossed around the idea of waxing it before I went and put the transfer on it oh thanks Jess um, but I just wanted to wing it and kind of see what hap what would happen so I just got chalk paste all over my hands so I just want to clean that up and that comes right off with water hello Sherry so that looks really cute. I really like the way that came out and it really pops on the aquamarine background. And I have this cute little flower that kind of ties in with the colors too that I think I want to um, hot glue gun down here in the corner. Let me just make sure you guys can see that. So I'm going to, while I am getting ready to do the flip flops, I'm going to plug in my hot glue gun. So that way I can have that nice and hot and ready to go so that we can hot glue gun that flower on there. So let's get that going. And then in the meanwhile, we'll pull that off to the side again. And then 
I'm going to just do a couple flip flaps. So this is our first layer. I hope I'm getting this right because I completely forgot to look at our how-to. Um, I believe this is the first layer. Correct me if I'm wrong. And then this will be our top layer. So I think that I want to do the bottom layer. Hmm. I wonder if I should do that white. That's not going to really pop. Maybe I'll do the bottom layer in the Nantucket and then the top layer in white. I think I like that. So uh, getting some hearts up. So I'm guessing everybody likes it. Oh, go for it. So I'm just going to um, fuzz up my transfer. I'm just putting it on my pants, just taking some of the fuzz from my pants and putting it onto the back of this sticky transfer. It is, they are sticky silk screens. Um, so I just want to make sure that's not going to stick too, too hard to my surface. So I think I'm only going to do probably two flip floppies and that way I'll leave room for my cute little flower over here. So let's, let's see, let's give it another whirl, see what happens. And I have my hair dryer set to go so that I can, um, speed the process up of the drying time for this first layer. So we'll just put this down. I'm going to try, and it's probably going to pull some of that aquamarine that I painted on the canvas again, just like it did on the letters. And I'm perfectly fine with that. I think I'm just going to do two of the same. This will make it nice and, oh, that looks good. That way, and I'll just do maybe one here. And that'll leave room for my flowers. For my, not flowers, flower. I have one flower. This Nantucket looks so good on top of that aquamarine. I really like it. So again, I'm not pushing too hard because I don't want my transfer to, to stick and pull up some of that color that I did underneath. Oh, I just, you know what? Let me just see if I can get that in there. I see that I missed a little spot. Hopefully that will take care of that. Let's see. Yep, it did. Awesome. Okay, so I have that transfer now in the water so that it will take the chalk paste off while it's soaking in the water so that I can clean my transfer and I think I am done with this beautiful Nantucket so I'm going to close this up so that it doesn't dry out on me just trying to get all that excess off of the side of the jar and then we can put the cap back on that guy and let's get the hair dryer real quick so that we can dry this for our next layer. Bear with me for a moment while I dry this. I should not have had my white opened that whole time, but. Wow, that dried super quick on canvas, holy moly. That was really quick. I'm just going to give it one more second. I agree with you, Eileen. Nantucket is beautiful. I love it on here. It's so beachy. It's so cool. Let me see. I think my hot glue gun's ready. So I'm going to just squirt some glue right on the back of my little flower here because I don't want this to get too, too hot. I really go overboard with my glue, just so that I'm making sure that it sticks. And whoop, we will put this guy right here in the corner. Oh, that looks so pretty. Can you, can you just picture this in a beach house or a little trailer down the shore or in a lake house? How adorable is this? I love it. All right, I just want to make sure that's sticking good. Hopefully it is, because I want to unplug my hot glue gun so it doesn't get too hot. And then we can just go ahead and put the top layer on here. And we are done. How quick and easy was that? Now, do I want to go with the, I think I'm going to do, do that. Uh, let's see, do I want to do that with some little detail to it? I kind of like that. I wonder how that'll come out. I'm a little concerned though that I'm gonna pull up this paste. So that's why I'm thinking maybe if I, with the least amount of chalk paste on top, decisions, decisions, I'm so bad with these. 
All right, let's just, you know what? No, I'm going to go for it. Why not? Just go for it. Sometimes you have to. And I like the design in this. So let's see. I'm fuzzing it up again on my pants. I'm wondering if I should do a different color besides white. I'm, I'm hoping that the white's going to come through. I think it will. I'm just going very basic with two colors tonight. Okay, I just pulled, put that on my pants and pulled it up a few times, putting it on, taking it off. Now we're just going to match this up. If you can see, you can see through it, especially with Nantucket because it's a nice deep color. So we're just going to match this up as best we can. That looks like it's dead on right there. I'm not pushing down too terribly hard on here. Ooh, lime green. Ooh. Lime green. I like it and I have it, so we'll do it. Let's grab lime green without knocking over the iPad. Um, did I even open? Yes, I did. I opened this one already. I like it, Eileen. Let's go for the lime green. Let's see how that looks. That's going to look really pretty, I think. Those two colors together. Beautiful. So let's just give this a quick stir. Oh, you know what? I never use this. And this needs a good stir. So this is what a jar looks like. Oh, let me try not to do this. Before I make a mess, let me move that to the side. And this is what a brand new jar of paste looks like. So you're going to give it a nice, vigorous stir. We have an amazing new tool called the multi-tool that is perfect for getting in all the little nooks and crannies in your jar. And it's not as flimsy as these little plastic stirs. So this will really help when you're when you've got your new jar of paste. So trying to stir it with these flimsy sticks is not easy. We highly recommend that you don't use the, the popsicle sticks, the craft sticks, because that's going to suck the moisture right out of your chalk paste. So um, if you have the like a plastic knife, that works fine. Um, if you have these little plastic stirs, that's fine too. But the new multi-tool in the new catalog is perfect for this because not only is it great for stirring, but it has a cool little, um, I don't think much bigger than the width of this at the end of it. So it is perfect for getting in the little, little spots that you want to add some color, like maybe to your flowers or for smaller details, it works great. I am going to just give this a quick hint of a little bit of water. Um, because it just feel like you can feel it when you're stirring it that it needs just a little help to get it to that consistency that we're looking for. All right, we can bring this back up because I didn't want to accidentally get any chalk boogies on my canvas. So I think we're good. We'll grab a small squeegee because that's all we really need. And this is just um, the small squeegee. These are the old small squeegees that I cut in the three pieces. Our new squeegees on um, in the new catalog are actually vertical this way, which is perfect. So you're not getting your fingers like I always do in your paste. So instead of going this way, they're now going to go this way. So you've got longer to keep your fingers on here. And the beveled edge will be on this side now. So that's perfect. Um, so let's just go ahead and add some lime green and cross our fingers that I'm doing this right. I think I am and I'm not applying too much pressure. I don't care that I'm going to probably waste just a little bit. I'm especially concerned because it is two layers on this canvas and we already saw that it did pick it up in a good way. It picked up the, um, the chalk paste that I used to paint the canvas. So I'm just trying to be extra careful because now we're on technically a third layer so let's see let's see what happens <gasps> oh my god you nailed it Eileen that was what it needed look how adorable that is oh my gosh that's amazing all right now I want to go I think now I'm gonna do the polka dots on the other one how fun is this I love it all right let's grab this guy it's always like hard when you first have a new transfer to get it off. So I try to like roll my finger and see how when I did that, it literally just comes right off. I think if you try to like do your nails and separate it, you're going to pull the paper. So just kind of roll your finger and look, came right off. 
All right, let's fuzz this bad boy and we will get him on that. And we're done. Such a cute little home decor piece. And it doesn't have to be in your shore home. You can, um, if you have nautical themes in your own home, not necessarily a shore home, this would be perfect for that as well. And what a perfect gift for somebody that maybe did just get a new shore home or mountain home. That, this would be so cute. All right. So I'm just trying to, because I did turn this on an angle, want to make sure I line this up. So long as I'm not seeing any of the aquamarine from the background coming through, which I see a hint of it right here, I know that I'm not on there 100%. I should see all Nantucket under these dots. That's how we know we've got it lined up perfectly. Let me just get my finger off here almost there. I still see a little aquamarine. I think, oop, I'm just being a little anal here. There we go. I got it. I see no aquamarine coming through these dots now, so I know that's all the Nantucket back there. Again, I'm not applying too much pressure, and we're just going to go ahead and put some cute little fun polka dots on here. We are almost done. Again, not putting too much pressure, just trying to get my lines out of there. I don't I don't mind that I wasted a little bit of paste on this just because I want to not put too much pressure. Let's take a peek. Oh my goodness. How adorable. That's so cute. Thank you so much, Eileen, for the recommendation of lime green on that. I love that. I think that came out really cute. Again, we're just making sure that get all that excess from around the corner of our jar so that we can close this back up. We're looking for a nice tight seal on our jar. You can actually take a paper towel and just clean up around the edge so that way you've got your nice tight seal with your jar like that. There we go. And voila! We are done. So, oh, thanks Eileen. It is so pretty. Thank you so much. I love that um, lime green on there. That is perfect. How cute is that? What a cute little decoration. And I might take it up just one more notch and maybe do some fun stuff around the sides. Or I could add more flip-flops. Um, when I do things, I look at them for a while and then I may add some more because it might need just a little more, but I'm not quite sure what I want to do. But perfect, cute little fun project. And I thank you all for watching and have a fantastic rest of your weekend.